before I add the seam blend, I need to soften the edges of the blend texture to zero. So I'm just going to select the perimeter edge, find the center line, and drop the sharpness to zero. And we can now see this stripey effect of the seam blend texture before it's been path mapped. So I now need to select the face. If I select the green, I can then see where the edge is. Easy. So I need to go terrain, mapping, new mapping, and select path map. Now, as I've said in a, another of the videos, I always delete the word path and name the blend according to where it is. So as this is the first green, and it's a fringe to green, I would call this green one. And add it. And we'll notice it's actually flipped it over, which happens often. You'll get the texture the wrong way round. We've got a light and a dark. The darker area is our, obviously our fringe and the lighter area the green. So I need to flip this texture. If I just click flip new direction, it's flipped it over the right way. So. We've got our path mapped texture and we can set a V-wrap. Uh, if we're using a gradient uh, type blend, there's no need to change the V-wrap at all. But for some of the black and white alphas that don't use gradients, uh, we'll quite often have to change the V-wrap, the normal settings around about the 10 mark as I said in another video so we'll add a wrap of say 10 to that and it's flipped the thing again so I'll just flip it back so we've got our path map and now all we have to do now is create a multiple so I go new mapping And I'm going to create a multiple. I check before I click the OK to see what I called the path. In this case, it's green one. So for the multiple, I'm going to name it the same, but with multiple in front. So green one, I'm going to delete the zero from multiple. And this was called green one. So I'm, the path was green one. I call the multiple multiple green one. Then the two are associated together. I can never get into any problems later if I have to come back find a find a blend and reapply it so we now click click this browse button click it again to assign the three maps for the three textures the first one is for our path mapped alpha so we need to select green one And the next two are the planar mappings for the fringe and the green. So this will be the, because it's a fringe to green, this is the fringe and this is the green, because that's the order we set them in our scene blend texture. So for now, we can leave these at default if they're default on this uh, course. I can't actually <laughs> remember whether I used a planar fringe or default so for now I'm just gonna leave it at default we can change it if it's wrong and I click add and there we go we've seen blended the fringe to green
Now, as I say, if it isn't using default planers, we need to set the correct planer for the correct texture. So let's say we'll make a, a new mapping quickly. I'll make a new planar mapping for the green and I'll call this uh, planar green small. And I'm going to add this to the green. And I'm going to scale it down. OK, and we'll deselect. So now we've got a planar green small mapping uh, on our green. We need the same mapping on our green texture on our scene plane. You can see now it's blurry here because it's larger. It's not joining up correctly with our scene blend. So if we go to the scene blend multiple again, uh, if I select mapping and select our multiple green one and browse, we now need the default planer to be the new green mapping we've done. So this is for the fringe, this is for the green, so all I have to do is select Mapping, Planar Green Small, click OK, and you'll see it's resized it, and because we're using the same mapping for the green in our scene blend as we are for the green on the outside, the two join up perfectly. It's also a simple uh, matter once you've created your scene blends. If you want to change the alpha, uh, it's just so easy. We just go down to our fringe to green, select, edit the texture, and if we change this grass alpha to another alpha, I'm not even sure if I've got any more alphas in here, which I might have to, uh, yeah, I'll have to grab one from folder so let's say we want to use this bunker alpha instead I can load that in click OK click Save and you'll see it's just automatically changed the alpha that hasn't affected our blend we've now got a different style so you can experiment once you've created your scene blends you can try out different alphas just swap them around see which looks best uh, it doesn't affect your blend in any way Changing, changing the texture alpha. So that's how easy scene blends really are. There's just one thing uh, left to do now, and that's to raise up the green verts to get rid of this step that we've created from our extrusion. Now, if you've just dropped it down uh, one notch. What you can do is wait until you've done all 18 greens and then use our old friend the uh, surface select all of type and then you can simply select the verts on every green at once but as I've only done uh, one green I'll just use a normal Otherwise, I'm going to muck up my green two on this demo. So, yeah, we simply have to move the verts back in line with where they were. And the nearer we get our camera, the finer we can move it. So I'll get in really as close as I can. And then it's just a matter of moving. The verts up. Um, so I'll go to verts and we'll go select convert from face and that will select all the verts and it's just a matter of panning round make sure we're on the z-axis 
depending on what we've been doing before on this camera but I try to keep it always on the z-axis before I leave and I've just got to drag this up you can't see what, what you're doing so you've got to sort of imagine a point that you're moving it to uh, I sort of shimmy up to it sideways and rotating a bit that way I can get as near as I can so and you can drag it up so that it's flush with the others or just leave a tiny step the s obviously the smaller you make the the step the less deviation is going to be caused if a ball goes over it uh, but that's near enough it's not going to affect gameplay as long as you as long as you pull it up reasonably close and that's uh, that's your scene blend done